of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And Amen. with your spirit. So as we come to pray, let us remember the risen Lord is with us. Let us call on the Holy Spirit to renew us as we celebrate these sacred mysteries and acknowledge our sins. I confess, Lord my God, and you are my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my misery as well. Therefore I ask the blessed Mary of the Virgin, all of the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the power of the Holy Spirit come to us, we pray, O Lord, that we may keep your will faithfully in mind and express it in a devout way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While Apollos was in Corinth, Paul traveled through the interior of the country and down to Ephesus, where he found some disciples. He said to them, did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They answered him, We have never even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. He said, How were you baptized? They replied, With the baptism of John. Paul said, then said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him. That is, in Jesus. When he heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus, and when Paul laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Although there were about twelve men, altogether there were about twelve men. He entered the synagogue for three months, debated boldly with persuasive argument about the kingdom of God. The word of the Lord. And I say to God. Our sponsor of psalm is from the 68th Psalm. Sing to God, O kingdom of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. God arises his enemies and scatters. Those who hate him flee before him. And smoke, as smoke is driven away, are, so are they driven, as wax melts before us the fire. Sing to God, the kingdom of the earth. But the just rejoice and exalt before God. They are glad and rejoice. Sing to God, chant his praise to his name, whose name is the Lord. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. The father of orphans and the defender of widows is God in his holy dwelling. God gives a home to the forsaken. He leads forth prisoners to prosperity. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Hallelujah. with Christ. Seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And and with you a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to the Lord. The disciples said to Jesus, now you are talking plainly, and not, in, and not in any figure of speech. 
Now we realize that you know everything and that you do not need to have anyone question you. Because of this, we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you believe now? Behold, the hour is coming and has arrived, when each of you will be scattered to his own home, and you will leave me alone. But I am not alone, because the Father is with me. I have told you this, so that you might have peace in me. In the world you will, be, you will have trouble, but take courage. I have conquered the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for praise and glory of his name. May this unblemished sacrifice purify us, O Lord, and impart to our minds the force of grace from on high through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens and the angels gazed in wonder, mediator between God and people, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended, not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following, where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, Every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they attain. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is you, God, in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And we heard from the Cappadocian fathers this weekend. And a quote from St. Basil, the great born in the year 330, he said, To partake of the holy body and blood of Christ is good and beneficial. For he says quite plainly, He that eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. Who can doubt that to share continually in life is the same thing as having life abundantly? I will pray the Roman canon. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Louis, our Bishop, and all those who holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them we offer you the sacrifice of praise of the offering for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in the hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, and all your saints. We ask that through the merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, 
to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect, make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord and my God. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead and the glorious ascension into heaven, of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the Just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar and high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, in all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share of fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, which on the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with the life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And Amen. with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ. Peace, mindful of the coronavirus. <laughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy of you to my mind, but I am not worthy of you to my mind. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and make disciples. Thanks be to God.